The third coding scheme is called Unicode. Unicode is a 16 bit coding scheme that has the capacity to represent all the world's current languages as well as classic and historical languages. It uses 16 bits to represent a character. Since each bit has either one or two values, 0 or 1, Unicode can make two power of 16 different combinations of 16-bit code. Therefore, it is capable to represent two power of 16 or 65,000 different characters. Unicode widely implemented in our computers that we use currently including Windows, Linux and Macintosh operating system. The 256 characters and a symbols that are represented by ASCII and MCDX code are sufficient for English and Western European languages only. But they are not large enough for Asian and other languages that are different alphabet, such as Arabic, Korean, Russian, etc. This is an example of uh, Unicode symbols that are available in Microsoft Office. The table shows the summary of different coding scheme between ASCII, FCDIC and Unicode. ASCII use 8 bit to represent a character as well as FCDIC. Thus, it can represent 256 characters respectively. ASCII is widely used on mini computers, personal computers and servers, while FCDIC are used on mainframe and high-end server. Different with the Unicode, it can represent up to 65,000 characters since it uses 60 bits code. Unicode widely use on the on our operating system such as Windows, Android, iOS, and so on. This is example of the, the difference between ASCII, FCDIC and Unicode in the coding system. Before we proceed to the next topic, you need to answer some questions below. You are given about 10 minutes to answer. You can make a discussion among your friends you may start now. 